Hi everybody! Today we're doing a video on how to potty train your hamster. Um, we're using Stella as our example. Now you can see we have a food dish. And then we have a much bigger dish. Now the reason why I use dishes is because you can use a litter box for hamsters that are tiny sized, but then you have to deal with all the extras that it comes with, um, such as the litter, sometimes the scooper, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, point is, they give you a lot of extras, and quite frankly, you can use just a regular old bowl that you get from, say, a thrift store for like a dollar, and it'll do the exact same thing, and you just pick it up and you just dump the whole thing. Now we're going to put that there. Obviously, you want to use gloves for this next part. Um, and there's her potty spot. You can't really tell with younger hamsters. You really honestly have to use your your nose um, in order to tell uh, where their potty spot is. And what you simply do is you take um, their potty spot, their poop, their pee, everything, and you want to stick it in this designated area. Now the reason why I like doing this um, for my hamsters is, uh, when I actually do train them, uh, is so that, if especially if they're diabetic, um, they have their designated potty spot so I don't have to scrape and clean um, from previous times. She actually switched potty spots at some point in time. Um, and I don't have to scrape and clean if I don't have to. And after, you know, a couple days of either really wet potty or um, just so that it smells, at least for a good couple days, I'll leave it in there before you change it out. That way, uh, the bowl itself or whatever you're using uh, takes up the scent of their potty so that uh, they'll automatically go to that spot to go to the bathroom uh, because hamsters for the most part are pretty much blind so they rely a lot on smell so if you use pretty much you know their designated potty area and put it in there for a good couple of days um, they should automatically associate uh, the bowl or whatever you're using as where they go to the bathroom normally and it ends up saving you a bunch of time so you don't have to scrape and clean uh, every single uh, cage that you have even if you have a one it's rather annoying especially if you have wire cages uh, then obviously potty gets everywhere whether it's female or male and so uh, it's just easier to do stuff like this. Um, obviously, if you have a container, bowls work better. If you have a cage, cage, um, then it's probably best to get a hamster gerbil litter box, but do not use the litter that's in there uh, due to the fact that one, uh, it can cause serious uh, digestive problems with your hamster because it does not get digested if they eat it or accidentally swallow it. And obviously if it clumps, uh, yeah, it's not going to get out of your hamster and it's probably going to kill them. But with that being said, <clears throat> just do these tips, continuously do them until eventually your hamster gets it that that's where they go to the bathroom. Um, every now and again they might change potty spots, in which case move your designated potty item to that corner or place. Um, some hamsters automatically potty train themselves, such as if you give them, say, pickle jars or uh, little containers, they might end up using that automatically as their potty spots. In fact, um, Eloy was actually self-potty trained, which was great. Um, he actually used not only a pickle jar, but he also used um, multiple uh, yogurt, empty yogurt containers, so that was great. So some hamsters automatically will potty train themselves, 
But for those who don't quite get it, all you have to do is, like I said, put their actual potty spot in the designated area. So, that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. Bye-bye!